Hey everybody, welcome to April 2017 Box, the Box Forager. You're going to notice that there's something different with the audio, and that's because I am dubbing the uh, voiceover on this, because the original audio didn't work. Uh, something weird happened with the mic, and it just picked up very, very little, so I'm going to have to go through and uh, talk over this video. And as a matter of fact, if you enjoy this more than you like the videos when I'm talking and unboxing, uh, go ahead and let me know, and maybe I'll mix it up some more. Let's get started. First up, we got this forging knife. This is a full tang wooden handle knife, and it's designed specifically for forging applications that include, but aren't limited to, digging, prying, chopping, and cutting vines or rope. It's made from stainless steel, and unlike your survival knife, it's designed to dig up roots and tubers in the muck and grime. It is commonly used as a camp for trial digging, fire pits, latrines, hot coal beds, earthen ovens, etc. As you can see, it's graded uh, one through six inches. It has one side which is serrated and another side that's not. The nice sheath is uh, leather and thick and it felt really good in the hand. The interesting thing about this, as you can see, uh, six inches there. Uh, the interesting thing about this is I actually do some metal detecting too. <laughs> and I was actually looking at uh, something similar uh, from a store and picking it up that was gonna run about 20 bucks. So this was a nice surprise to come into uh, the Apocalypse box and not even have to worry about picking something else up. All right, let's see what I grab next here. It's like, not entirely sure. All right, we got, I'm gonna play around with it for a little bit. Okay, next up we got the forging, uh, the forger uh, Velcro patch. I'm not a big fan of patches. You guys might know that from some other videos that I've made. Uh, I just, I feel like it's money that gets put into making the patch that doesn't need to be in the box, but it's a cute little patch, and as you'll see later on, it works for uh, the pack that came with this. Here we have chirps, or kerps. Uh, what they are is they're actually uh, corn chips that are made with uh, cricket protein. So they have five grams of protein per bag, uh, and I actually tasted these, uh, and they're not bad. They tasted kind of like, uh, I mean, to be honest, they tasted kind of like cheap corn chips. Uh, but sometimes cricket flour leaves like real a real grainy uh, texture in stuff that it's cooked with. This did not. I, there wasn't a lot of grain or anything else there. It just tasted like, like corn chips, like sea salt corn chips. Uh, overall, I'd have to say they were pretty good. Next up, we have, I believe this is the Sprout kit sprouting kit and what it has is it just uh, an assortment of seeds and everything so you can do a garden on the go or even use it as a long-term solution uh, to get fresh vegetables in your survival diet uh, you could even put it in a bug out bag or anything else the compact kit gives you the ability to uh, eat clean and nutritious calories here is an arbor day book specifically from the arbor day foundation it is a tree guide it is water resistant cover and the paper, the pages inside were nice too. And as you can see, it was priced for, I think like $14.99. But that was a nice little thing to have in here for doing it makes sense. We have Creek's Pocket Guide uh, to Field Survival Guide for Survival Trees, Volume 1, signed by Creek. Uh, it's fully illustrated, it's four by six. Nice little pocket guide again, with uh, pictures and descriptions of trees and whatnot. So that when you're foraging, you can find things, uh, bark, you know, burnable bark, edible leaves, stuff like that. Uh, as you can see here, I'm comparing the pages. This has the like plasticky pages, which might hold up a little bit better in water than the Creek Survival Guide would. But just having that information at hand is pretty sweet. Uh, it's a little thing from the Arbor Day Foundation. I think it's 10% off uh, if you want to buy a tree or something like that. So that's nice to have in there. I unfortunately. I uh, don't plan on planting any trees soon, so I won't be using that. Next up is the, oh, a fishing hook. So it's not the uh, survival skills. Uh, it's more of a forager skill challenge. <laughs> and what it has is it's a bone fishing hook and a gourd kit. Uh, and it just gives you all the stuff you need in there to make the hook and tie it together and all that other stuff. Just like the other um, survival skills. Here we have a tree finder. And this one is just the tree finder guide. It's a great companion guide to the second reference for the Arbor Day Foundation. So it's supposed to work hand in hand with the Arbor Day book 
and the field guide that Creek sent out as well. So lots of information in this book, in this box, which is awesome. The more information you have, the better. This next thing I grab here is a fruit and nut grapple. So actually what it is, is it's a uh, three, like a three hook set that you tie it together with uh, paracord and any length of paracord that you want. And it basically makes a grapp grappling hook to twist around and throw up into a higher branch. So you can pull the branch down to you and uh, pull any nuts or anything off of that branch. You can also use it, it says in there, to like retrieve stuff from underwater or anything. Nice, uh, just a handy little thing, uh, a nice thing to throw in there. Uh, I'll probably actually wind up using that along with the uh, the forging knife, because those things are pretty handy. And of course the references are great. This is the Campus Forging Bag. Uh, it's durable cotton, and it will serve you well the next time you're out foraging for your favorite edibles. As you can see, it's got the Velcro for your patch. Uh, and it loops together. You see the leather cord down there and the button so that you can seal it up. I'm going to open it up and show you some of the stuff on the inside. Here's the strap to go over your shoulder. Nice deep pocket. Uh, it's a pretty good sized bag. And you can see here you got uh, three things for pins or uh, notebooks or um, vials even. The, ing the Ignis kit came with some vials. Uh, and you flip it over and there's actually a sewn in pocket for your foraging knife so that your foraging knife can go right inside of the foraging bag so pretty well thought out design there by a pocket box for this month giving you a pretty sweet bag i'm really digging the foraging knife uh all in all this one's a pretty pretty solid bag and um, here you can see the knife sort of <laughs> inside of the inside of that pocket inside of the bag uh so if you wanted to carry it on your belt you could or you can put it over the uh or inside of this canvas bag again the leather loops around the button to seal it so this is what we got we got the bag we got the corn chips we got the bone hook we got the fruit nut grapple we got the arbor tree foundation tree identification guide as a sole as a addition to that we have the tree finder and creek's pocket field guide for survival trees part one and then we have the sprouting kit this was a nice box, a pocket box. I really enjoyed what came in this. Lots of variety, lots of practical stuff.